Hello YouTube Aquatic World. Here we are finally. It's my 150 community tank. Doing very nice, very nice. And then my other 150 turned into the tank for the angels. The 60 is gone now. I think as you remember I had the uh, arowana and knife in this one. This turned into a tank for the uh, angels. I'll let those guys grow out nice and big. That's my second tank now. And then my little tank here, I tell you about the bio cube I picked up just for the hell of it. I really don't do salt water. I haven't done it for 30 years, but the price is right and it looked fun. So there's a little 29 gallon bio cube. You can really get a good price on these things used. I think I give like a hundred bucks for the setup. Just add water and fish and some live rock. And now the 210. The 210 is about done except for my front doors. And this is where the uh, arowana went to. Here he is. It's Traco the Impaler. What a beast. Just a baby. And his buddy, Jack the Ripper, he's in here somewhere. It's knife fish. He's probably about a good eight inches. These guys are just vicious when they get fed. But yeah, this tank's looking good. I like it. And the 60 was there, you remember? And the, the 60's gone now. I have no use for the 60 anymore. Now that I was able to uh, get these guys in this tank. And the sump is kind of nice. Never done a sump on a fresh water. But I like it because it's just so easy to get to. I got to finish my doors on this uh, stand here and then I'll be complete with that. But uh, yeah, the uh, deal was too good. This is an Aquion 210. And I had a special on it for uh, 900 bucks, which was a good deal. Very good deal. Has the overflows. Never had a tank with overflows. But the uh, similar tank would be the Marine Land in the 220. They're all the same dimensions, except the uh, Marine Land's 5 eighths of an inch taller. And didn't come with overflows, but the best price I was able to get on that one was fourteen hundred. So I had to go with this one, you know, for nine was a no-brainer. That extra money, you know, bought my sump and my pump down here, which are expensive. Those pumps are a couple hundred bucks, but uh, that covered that expense. So this one saved me, you know, probably five hundred bucks over going with the Marine Land. And boy, now I can just let this guy grow now. They got pretty good personalities once they get to know you. You know, they know you're feeding them and stuff. They're not afraid of you anymore. They come right up to you. I'd say he's probably about a good nine inches now. He's coming into the light. I keep it kind of low, low light in the tank for these guys. I like that. Not as skittish. Yeah, good looking fish. Got kind of a red tint to him. But anyway, that's where I'm at so far, and this is probably gonna, I'm gonna do my hobby just with these tanks here. Oh, there's the knife, he's hiding in there. Let's see if we can get a look at him. Might be too dark. Yeah, it's a little too dark. He's inside the uh, base there. A little too dark to get him. He'll come out when it's feeding time. But anyway, bye for now. And Keep up the hobby.